Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A plus Core 2 series. This is video 9 in this series, so let's get started with the question. The question number 1 in today's video is that assigning a unique encrypted key called a ticket to each user that logs on to the network is a characteristic feature of the options are SAML, TOTP, RADIUS and Kerberos. And the correct option is Kerberos. Question number two is that in the Kerberos based authentication process, the purpose of the client's time step is to provide a countermeasure against, and the options are replay attacks, dictionary attacks, birthday attacks, or the downgrade attacks. And the correct option is the replay attacks. Question number three is that the harmful programs used to disrupt computer operation, gather sensitive information, or gain unauthorized access to computer system are commonly referred to as, and the options are adware, malware, ransomware, and spyware. And the correct option is malware. So malware is uh, the combination of two words that is the malicious and software. So any software that that is harmful and disrupt the computer operation or gather sensitive information and tries to gain access tries to gain unauthorized access to computer system is known as malware. Question number four is that a type of software that performs unwanted and harmful actions in the disguise of a legitimate and useful program is known as a Trojan horse. This type of malware may act like a legitimate program and have all the expected functionalities, but apart from that, it will also contain a portion of malicious code that user is unaware of. And we have two options that whether this statement is true or false and the correct option is yes, this statement is true. So a Trojan is a malware or it is a uh, software where on the front end uh, there is a legitimate software such as let's suppose a game. You downloaded a game from a Play Store or from, uh, from Apple uh, store and and the back side of this game there is a, some malicious code that is gathering information and the user is unaware from. So this type of software is known as Trojan Horse. Question number five is that a collection of software tools used by a hacker to make to mask intrusion and obtain administration level access to a computer or computer network is known as and the options are rootkit, spyware, backdoor and trojan and the correct option is rootkit. Question number six is that a malicious software collecting information about users without their knowledge consent is called and the options are crypto malware, adware, ransomware and spyware and the correct option is again spyware question number seven is that a malware that restricts access to a computer system by encrypting files or locking the entire system down until the user performs requested action is referred to as and the options are graveware, adware, ransomware and spyware and the correct option is ransomware. Question number eight is that which of the following is an example of spyware? And the options are keylogger, vulnerability scanner, computer worm, and packet sniffer. And the correct option is keylogger. So the keylogger uh, records all the keystrokes that, that a user uh, punches are that a user presses on his computer and they are then sent to the through this to this spyware to the attacker so this type of software that spies on user keys or, or on user keypad or uh, keyboard is known as keylogger and this belongs to the 
malware category of spyware. Question number 9 is that a type of virus that infects the storage drive area containing the necessary data and code used to start the OS is known as in the options are phage virus, boot sector virus, retrovirus and polymorphic virus. And the correct option is boot sector virus. Question number 10 is that which of the answers listed below refers to a malware type that exploits computing resources without the owner's consent and the options are rootkit, crypto miner, grayware and trojan horse and the correct option is crypto miner. Question number 11 is that which of the following methods can be used to launch Windows recovery environment in Windows 10? And the options are boot from installation media, in power menu hold down the shift key and select restart, boot from recovery drive, perform system, restart from setting menu or all of the above. And the correct option is all of the above. Question number 12 is that which of the answers listed below refers to a common firewall tab used for protecting a single computer and we have to select two answers and the options are host based firewall, software firewall, network based firewall and hardware firewall and the correct options are host based firewall and software firewall. So the host based firewall is installed or enabled on a single host such as the windows firewall uh, that we have on our computers and again software firewall this is again the windows firewall is again a software firewall that is protecting a single computer question number 13 is that which firewall would provide the best protection for an ingress egress point of a corporate network and we have to select two answers and the options are hardware firewall network based firewall, software firewall and host based firewall and the correct options are hardware firewall and network based firewall. Question number 14 is that which of the following provides the best countermeasure against social engineering and the options are strong password, principle of least privilege, implicit deny policy and user education and the correct option is user education. So the social engineering attacks are uh, done by luring the users through certain techniques and uh, this type of attacks can be prevented by educating the user about the cyber security and these attacks. Question number 15 is that which of the choices listed below provides the most effective means for malware removal? And the options are antivirus, anti-malware, software firewall and recovery mode and the last option is OS reinstallation and the correct option is OS reinstallation. So the anti-malware also removes the malware but the most effective means is a clean reinstallation of the OS which removes all the viruses and malware. Question number 16 is that a social engineering technique whereby attackers under disguise of a legitimate request attempt to gain access to confidential information is called options are phishing, privilege escalation, backdoor access and shoulder surfing and the correct option is phishing. Question number 17 is that the practice of using a telephone system to Manipulate user into disclosing confidential information is known as and the options are veiling, spare phishing, wishing and forming and the correct option is wishing V here stands for voice so it is since it is a telephonic system that is used through voice conversation the attack is launched through a telephonic system using uh, voice or conversation. So, wishing or voice phishing is the correct option. Question number 18 is that a situation in which an unauthorized person 
can view another user's display or keyboard to learn their password or other configuration information it refers to as option R spare phishing, tailgating, shoulder surfing and spoofing and the correct option is shoulder surfing. Phishing scam target people holding high position in an organization or business are known as options are wishing, smishing, veiling and farming and the correct option is veiling. What is tailgating? And the options are acquiring unauthorized access to confidential data, looking over someone's shoulder to get information, gaining unauthorized access to restricted areas by following another person and manipulating a user into disclosing confidential information. And the correct option is gaining unauthorized access to restricted area by following another person. Question number 21 is that which social engineering attack relies on identity theft? The options are wishing, impersonation, elicitation, and confidential bait. And the correct option is impersonation. Question number 22 is that what is the purpose of DOS or denial of service attack? And the options are code injection, resource exhaustion, malware infection and privilege escalation and the correct option is resource exhaustion so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed yet so please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you all